listen, man. One thing about I can say about Charles the White, man. I got, I got, I got to salute him, bro. He, 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 uh, he got that voice, man. He got that, that, that delivery, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I got to take it off for him. You know, sometimes he go too far with the silly, dumb, ignorant shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but. I really gotta take it off. He's smart than a motherfucker. He make a lot of sense. People get mad at the truth, but it's the truth. You know, like he said. You know, them, them, you know, we got so much shit going on. Kill motherfuckers out here killing kids, dog, drive-by shootings, babies dying. Where's the uproar about this shit? All these kids done died in my city. The girl, the police done killed the girl innocently, right? That was crazy. Y'all are let a dolphin or a motherfucker out robbing the store, running off with merchandise and shit. Damn near running with a gun, turn on the police or run out of the store and, you know, try to hit the police and the police shoot them. It's like, oh my God, we got to go protest. These motherfuckers was always, how do we stand up for all these wrongdoing motherfuckers? Like, God damn, they still in, they doing some shit they don't supposed to be doing, then they get shot, then it's like, oh, we, we tearing the whole city up. But when some innocent kids get drive-bys, get killed by your own fucking people, we don't go stand up enough. I don't, that's the part I just don't understand. Motherfucking babies are getting killed in the back of car seats and cars, and, and, and we, ain't do, we ain't standing up to shit. Dog, all the, all the motherfuckers the police killed, the girl they killed in Detroit, just not long ago, but it, it been happening so much. The police didn't kill. They, the police don't have the proper training in none of these cities. They don't, for us. Any, I done seen white boys damn that beat the police to fuck to death. Beat them, he'll beg them, I don't wanna shoot you, I don't wanna shoot you. The motherfucker go jump in their car, take off, nothing happens. Black girl, they get in front of the car, she hit the gas a little bit, trying to bump him to get off the car so she can go, and they shoot her and kill I mean, it's just so much shit that goes on that we don't. Like, Charles Dwight made a lot of sense, too. Like, that time they went into the black church. Dude had nigga right on the gun. Shoot the motherfucking church up, kill all them black people. Where's the protesting about that? You see what I'm saying? But you get a motherfucker, like he said, you do something like about George, George Floyd or... You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that, you know, but no, nah, listen, man. If we're going to do one, we got to do them all. You know what I'm saying? Because some of these motherfuckers put themselves in a position to, to, you know what I'm saying? You put yourself in that predicament. Police on edge now, you know what I'm saying? So every time a police do something to, it's like, it's an uproar. But what about when we do some shit, is what I'm trying to say. We got to hold, start holding ourselves accountable, man, for some of the shit we do. And like I say, not only that, like I say, the police, they killing innocent people. That girl they just killed, they came to her fucking house because her mother was over there arguing with her about something in her home. Her mother called the police on her and she lost her life. Y'all ain't have no better training than that. Y'all ain't have no better training than to use deadly force on a woman. Come on, man. You know, it's so much other shit we can be, uh, man, so much other shit, man, and damn, man, listen, man, at, at the at the rate, at the rate they killing these kids and women, man, it, it's not making no fucking sense, dog. It's not making no sense, man, these kids, these young men out here just doing stupid, dumb shit, like, dog, why are we pro protesting about this? I don't, that's what I'm saying, that's why I don't fuck with the Oprahs in the world, I gotta watch what I say on here, man, but I, I cannot stand these celebrities no more. You know what I'm saying? We support these motherfuckers. That's why I like when Trick Trick put that no fly zone here. And that, that's just go for these motherfucking basketball players, football players. If we at these games and these kids at these games spending all this money, but y'all, but y'all, but y'all, what it is though, y'all feel as though black kids don't spend no money on you. They, we too poor to go to the games or something, right? But y'all play in our urban cities. So either way it go, y'all should come back and show love real talk like you should be hey, boots on the ground man and i don't mean just handing out a fucking turkey on thanksgiving dog come on what the fuck is that man come on man get out here and mingle with these kids talk get on the radio like hey let motherfuckers see and touch like look you can do this you know what i'm saying this that's what i tell with especially with these rappers these rappers that put the poison out here the rappers these motherfuckers need to be held responsible for this shit man especially in your own cities i, I always say start with your own home front that's my thing. 
Nigga, you ain't got to go to a 10 different cities. Start just where you from, your neighborhood. Just go back to where you from. And give out, you know how many of these rappers claim to be so much so fucking gangsta and all this? Man, our people, dog, when I look at this YouTube shit, it's like, we, it's, man, do you understand how close we are to being extinct? Y'all don't think it can happen, do you? Y'all y'all don't think we can go backwards into slavery, do you? Y'all must don't think that, right? But we are so close. They are starving us out. At, and all we want to do is argue with each other hate on each other, kill each other, and, and, and talk about what you got and what type of materialistic shit you got. And at the end of the day, it's not going to mean nothing. Now, I, I'm not saying you, you should always want to have nice things, my dog. That's true. But like I say, half these rappers, first of all, they come out, y'all act like you street, but ain't nothing street about you. Listen, how many times do we see rappers going back to their own neighborhood, giving back? Come on, man. How many times do you see it? How many? They don't. Come on, man. How many times do you? Like, even your biggest rappers, the Jay-Z's, the, you know what I'm saying? All these guys. You don't see, nigga, you see the motherfucker somewhere in a Maybach somewhere. And, and, and it's crazy because I ain't never seen Jay-Z in an old school car. It was like, baby, you these motherfuckers driving brand new Maybachs. And you 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 never see them do shit. All you hear about is how they done fucked their artists over. Right? Um, they done got their money. They done ran, my dog. You know what I'm saying? That's just real talk. They done ran, man. We going through so much pain and suffering, bro. And it's not like we don't need their money. We just need their influence. We can make our own money. How the fuck do you think you got rich? Off poor people. They're some, the richest people in the world got rich off poor motherfuckers. We spend the most money. Do you understand what I'm saying? While we supporting these rappers and uh, listening to this dumbass shit they talking. That you know they're not doing. Because how could they be doing and getting this rich? Nigga, they're, they're, they're living. Listen, they living their best life for poisoning our youth. That's real motherfucking talk. Motherfuckers out here forget where they came from. They make up this fake ass beef shit, go somewhere and, be, and know they can hide out. They never going back to the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's sad, man. It just, it's, it's all the way around. All the way around, it's fucked up. And that's why I really can't stand Oprah, man. I can't stand man to do the to be over there in, in Hawaii and be talking about some motherfucking donate to Hawaii because of a fire that happened, a natural disaster. Like 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 the government not go what why the fuck do you need the public's money when Hawaii is part of the United States of America? Now all the money we go dropping off in other countries, all these wars that we're in. We give them billions upon billions upon billions of dollars, right? To fight every goddamn war, go over there and help whoever in poverty. FEMA, even our United States government, anytime it's a storm or some shit, FEMA, let me tell you about FEMA, man. They don't they don't they don't plan on helping us neither. I'd have been messed up about FEMA. I got a silver case against FEMA now. Because what was happening with FEMA was there was the, the urban neighborhoods, like the black people in the in the neighborhoods, weren't getting treated fair. They weren't getting paid. It was always an excuse where they would wouldn't pay them. And I seen that shit on the news, and they was like, "If this happened to you, call the civil rights." And it for sure happened to me. Everything that I had to fit the criteria for that storm, when that tree and shit fell on my house, I had everything to fit all legit, no fraudulent or nothing. I had, you know, so everything I needed to get help. And they wouldn't do it. So now it's in a silver lawsuit. So, yeah, they messing us around all together. They want our houses, storm the fuck up our houses so we can't fix them. So somebody else can come get them. And we got to move out somewhere and beg the government for help so we can get Section 8 20 miles outside of the main city that's coming up. You know what I'm saying? They not stupid, man. They know exactly what they doing, man. And I, and I peep the whole game. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, man, we need a voice for each other, my dog. We, we need a voice for us. You know what I'm saying, though? We, for real, man, we got to stop every time some shit happen. I'm looking at all these shootings, people out there protesting and shit, kind of find out this motherfucker that turned around and had a gun in their hand. You know, it's always some shit. They running from the police. 
Oh, and then the police were scared, so they might not have had a gun, but the police so scared, a phone fell out of his pocket, so they shot him. Now they want to burn the city up that they live in. But this motherfucker was out doing stupid shit. What about the straight, innocent babies that's getting gunned down out here in back seats of cars, drive-by shootings and, and, and houses and shit? Why are we up and protesting against that shit when the police go and kill that, like the, they killed that innocent girl in Detroit? You know what I'm saying? Like when they killed the girl with the rape. You know, like I was saying, even, even the girl at the market that they killed, even though she was still in and she was dead wrong. Okay, so I'm going to give her this, though. The police know what they be doing, man. They be Some of them do is out to kill us. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have a firearm. She didn't have a gun. She was just trying to flee. So really, them police should be charged because if she going to flee, it's a misdemeanor. So you gonna, you gonna, you going to let her go. So you're going to stand in front of the car knowing she might try to take off it's a misdemeanor thing you knew so soon as she moved the car up an inch to kind of bump you out the way you open fire on her that's what you wanted to do that's why you stood in front of the car man you know how many times i'm telling you the opposite races you know how many times i've seen them jump in the car and just take off with the police car they don't do shit they'll hold on to the door. man come on man i didn't seen it y'all all done seen the one where the girl jumped in the car and got the ar-15 out the thing and shot at them, and she's still living to the day. She literally jumped in the back seat of the front seat of the police car, grabbed their weapon, shot at them, and fled from them. Fled from them, then shot at them. And she's still living to the day. We got a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot going on right now. And, um, yeah, man. We got to, we got to, we got to pick and choose our battles, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to spread ourselves thin. I'm telling you, man. And I'm telling you, you know, another, another thing, y'all got to be careful with this race shit now. You know, you see, you see how they trying to spark this, this, this thing with these, this, this race shit now. Like, man, listen, now we're not going backwards on that shit. Like the Alabama shit, man. I, I think that was almost strategically planned, man. It almost was like that was a, almost a setup to, 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 to separate us. To, to get our mind off onto other shit and forget about really what's going on. I'm glad it didn't go that way, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because I'm seeing now, I seen that shit, what's that shit called? The Rainbow Coalition? When the when the, uh, the white supremacists, the groups, the black groups, you know what I'm saying? Everybody came together, like, as one, because we got one enemy, which is the government. We all poor, we, we just don't know it. We, we fighting the same, we had the same beliefs, basically. You know what I'm saying? It's just a long, it's, I can go on from here on out and out and out, man. But listen, one thing I want to say, man, I do chime in on my shit. And when I read this thing, I'm just thinking to myself, like, man, it, you know, like I said on an earlier one I did about all these murders that's happening, all these deaths, natural deaths, all of a sudden, it's something more than COVID that's out here killing us. Listen to me. It's something out colder. COVID was a hoax. Whatever that was, it wasn't what they said it was. That mad shit wasn't going to help you. I don't know if it's true about the 5G shit. They, they, I don't know what it was, but something wasn't right about that COVID shit. I'm telling you now. But it's something, not, it's, it's something else is out here right now that's killing people. That's not COVID. That's not COVID related or none of that shit. It's too many people just dying every day. I mean, I've never seen this much death ever. Young people dropping dead, kidneys going bad, heart failure, liver failure. Like, it's something that's it's, it's horrible, man. I never heard so many people just dropping dead in my life. Like, I mean, every day, it's just, un it's just unbelievable, man. If you look around you and just peek this shit, this shit is scarier than a motherfucker, dog. I'm telling you, they're trying to get us up out of here, man. I'm not, I am not, this is not fake news, this is real talk you know what i'm saying um it's it's, it's something it's something deep going on out here you know uh i gotta watch that though definitely gotta watch that so i'm gonna leave it at that man so like i say man we you know we gotta get our own shit together like i say charles the white he own it he, you know he, he say some real shit you know what i'm saying he say some real shit like when these rappers, these anything that these rappers say and do or some dumbass street shit go on, we quick to get up and be about that shit. And then, listen, man, the message that these rappers are putting out here, man, I'm not no goddamn politician. I ain't no none of that, man. I'm just a real nigga, my dog. I'm just a nigga that 
that that care about my people, bro. And it's cool. It's cool. The rap rap rapping is cool. It's just it's just like it's just the interviews would get me more so. Like when 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 the nigga rapping about this shit, and then he get up on an interview and actually try to stand on business. Like you really about this shit. Now that's what get me. Like you know, people like to hear what's going on to hear stories. It's entertainment. It's like a movie. But but every look at being on top of that every movie we watch every fucking tubi movie black e listen even when we do the movies ourselves they fucked up they don't have a good ending like you know i understand hollywood putting some bullshit out trying to push their agenda but we finally get a few dollars and we can put a movie out here too and what, what the fuck do we put out out of all the shit you can make a movie about the goddamn credits start rolling niggas shooting through the credits motherfuckers dying all i mean goddamn. I, Listen, man, I done seen two be movies where at least 30 people done got killed before the goddamn 30 minutes of the movie. 30 niggas in 30 minutes dead. Like, it's just straight killers. They killing people in the middle of the street, on the sidewalk. They walking in restaurants, killing them. Just straight serial killers and still walking the street like that shit real. And you don't think kids be watching this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit ain't getting no better, man. And then, listen, the, the poor... The worse it get out here on these streets, especially with money and jobs now and how shit is, and it's almost unlivable. You see how many homeless young kids, they say, you know how many homeless kids out here now? That's why you see the little girls out here with fucking 40 and 50 year old men and shit. Young girls, you know what I'm saying? They just want anywhere to stay or you know what I'm saying? Going from house to house. You see these young men out here begging. I never seen so many young black males begging, man. I mean, young dudes, strong out, or just begging. Some of them motherfuckers be fresh as you, begging than the motherfucker, right? But then, here go the thing. But when I go to Dearborn, where the Arabs at, you're not going to see one person begging. When I go to Mexican town, you never going to see a person begging out there, ever, never. You go to any white neighborhood, you're not going to see a person begging. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to allow that shit where they at. But why is it allowed? in our neighborhood why every gas station i pull up to you know what i'm saying i gotta have two or three people out there begging you every time you go in the store all my people though why everybody else straight but us and don't just say it's us well y'all did it to yourself like i always tell you yeah we did it to ourselves but it's like i said like my man told me i told you what he told me you know what i'm saying the game was rigged from the beginning you understand what i'm saying so shit that, that, that's that's what I'm trying to say, you know. Well, shit, that's the shit I be on, man. You know, you know. It's like I say, it's more than views, man. It's just, it's just real shit, man. There's some people out here going through so much pain right now, man, and depression. You would never know what a person going through, man. Like I said, people losing their kids, man, their loved ones, they, they significant others, and we sit here listening to hoes talking about her booty hole brown and dumb shit. You go dumb ass ignorant shit that don't even mean nothing, man. Got the kids, they whole mind ain't on nothing positive. Motherfuckers ain't trying to make it, you know, be successful out here. All this YouTube money out here, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers out here robbing and stealing and trying to scam and scheme. Nigga, they ain't even no hustlers out here no more. That's, that's the, this how fucked up the world is. The hustle, even the hustling days are over with. Everybody going to jail for murder and armed robbery now. Or, or you know what I'm saying? Or the niggas who getting the money not scamming. All the hustling shit is a thing of the past. That's over with, my dog. Especially in, in the hood. I told y'all how that shit work. It, that shit over with. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I don't know, man. So, it, it, listen, I know I'm sounding confusing, but I don't know how this shit going to turn out. It could go it could go one way or it could go the other, man. But we gotta hurry up and do something real quick. Cause like I say, man, that, that fentanyl shit, the government that took all the drugs over. You know what I'm saying? They 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 didn't control, they didn't knew dope. They didn't knew um they didn't knew dope, man. Real talk. They the arms dealer and the dope, man. And that's real shit.